People are fucking weird. Yes. Weird. That's who we are as humans, man. Don't know how to mind our own goddamn business. Don't know how to keep our opinions to ourselves. Just making bad decisions and questionable decisions and... Oh, man. Creepy stuff. Like, you name it. Humans are weird creatures by nature. And especially wrestling people. Very weird. Whether that be the wrestlers themselves. Now, they're certainly freaking weird. The promoters. <laughs> Vince McMahon, Tony Khan. Pretty weird. To those of you that are saying, oh, I'm not weird. You're watching this video of a weirdo. You're a weirdo. All right. And that doesn't automatically need to be a bad thing. Like being weird and unique, eccentric, can be cool. Just fine. Helps define us as human beings. Makes us stand out, be special. But then there's like that weird, creepy type of weird. And wrestling fans do way too much of this crap. And this whole thing with Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti is a perfect example of of this that so many people are just freaking weird and and I'll even say like Sammy Guevara is weird too because who the fuck sits there proposes to his girlfriend on TV back in August and less than four months later the engagement is over to which you're then announcing that on social media and it's just why intentionally put your business out there like that? To only sit there and have the engagement end so quickly afterwards. That's just weird, man. But at the end of the day, that is his business. Now, if he's going to be surprised that he puts his public business out there and that the dopes that we're talking about involved with professional wrestling are going to respond, then that's kind of a weird mindset because you wonder, for the Spanish God, what the fuck planet are you living on? When you're going to put that shit out there for public consumption, you have to know what comes along with that, fair or not. That's the reality. But holy fuck, people are weird. You got people starting talking about whether Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti are doing the horizontal hustle. They're combining the forces of Spain and Brazil and they're making themselves a fucking Spanish zillion goddess or goddess of the future. Like, who fucking cares? Are we that deprived of interesting, compelling stories and characters in wrestling that we have to make up some fucking soap opera drama like this? Let's be clear. If Ty Conti is fucking with Sammy Guevara, if Sammy Guevara is fucking with Ty Conti, good for them. They're grown adults. They can do what they want. Your life will not be impacted by any way. Get over it. Seriously. Get over it. Of course, it's not just that. It's people jumping to a conclusion that says, hey, Ty Conti might have Ruined Sammy Guevara's engagement, or Sammy Guevara might have been tempted by that sexy goddess Ty Conti, and as a result, that led to him straying outside of the wedding nest and ruined his engagement. Who knows? Who fucking cares? That very well could have happened. They could have been seeing each other on the side for quite a while. They could have just started a relationship. They could also totally have not done anything with each other, could totally be friends, could totally just be dumb shit. For all you know, it could have been Sammy Guevara and his fiance realized that they made a mistake and tis better to do something about it now than drag it out any longer. That could happen. Yes, that's weird, but that is life and that shit happens. Weird to cancel it so quickly after you do it almost feels like it was an attempt to try and save a relationship, which in and of itself is weird. You shouldn't use an engagement in a potential marriage, just like pregnancy, as a way to try and save a relationship. That is weird. It could be 
that they just became very different people. It could be that Sammy Guevara became a complete jackass. And when some of you talk about, oh, remember when he tweeted about Sasha Banks? That might be an indication. It could be. Who knows? Did you ever think about the possibility that he wasn't the one that might have cheated that? His ex fiance might have been the one that was dalliancing and tiptoeing through the tulips? I know, I know. We always like to blame the men for all the fucking affairs and the adultery and the extramarital shit. But for every guy that does it, there's a woman that does it that doesn't get caught. The old cats and dogs thing. Men are dogs. Sloppy, stupid, lazy, hit them in the head with the newspaper, they come back back. <laughs> don't know how to cover their tracks. Cats, on the other hand, are sly, sneaky shits, which is why a lot of women don't like cats. As they see a threat. But how the fuck do you know what's going on in Sammy Guevara's world? Seriously. Now, I know he's been public about relationship status and engagement and breaking off of engagement. Which, again, like I said, when you talk about the wrestling bubble, why would you want to do that? That's what I am going to say. And I would say it to him. Like, that's fucking weird. Why would you want to let these weirdos know anything more about your personal life than is absolutely required or necessary? Why? Why would you do that? You know what you're setting yourself up for. It's fucking weird, man. But for people to go at a Ty Conti, and I'm sure starting to talk about her being a home record, just like some of these fucking weirdos are talking about, oh, look at her relationship with negative one, that's weird, and it's like pedophilia. What the fuck goes on in people's lives now that they come up with dumb shit like this? Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti are two adults who can do adult things. If they're together, good for them. I don't fucking care. If they're not, good for them. I don't care. If they're friends, cool. I don't fucking care. Probably rule number one when you're in wrestling, it should be, is don't date or marry anybody in wrestling. It is overwhelmingly very likely to fail. So why the hell would you do that to yourself? But of course, you know, you're around people all the time. Like, it's an inevitability. You got a fucking social club right there, back there in the dressing room. Like, eventually, there's going to be intermixing and it's going to happen. But damn, you got people now going after Ty Conti talking about the shit that she's done and ruining Sammy Guevara's relationship and engagement to the point where she has to delete or deactivate her social media. If what two wrestlers or one wrestler is doing in something like this bothers you so much to the point that you feel you have to go after them to the point that they delete their social media, you need mental health. You need to do something to make sure that you are chemically sterilized so that way you cannot reproduce and produce more of your diarrhea on the rest of society. I mean, you got the holidays coming up. Hopefully most of you have jobs. Maybe you're in school. Maybe it's a combination. Maybe you have your own families, your own friendships to worry about. That probably needs some TLC. Why in the fuck would you be so bothered by this? Why does it matter? Why do you care? And frankly, why would Sammy Guevara and or Ty Conti even do anything to publicly address it? You're just feeding the masses, feeding them off and making the angry noises worse. You got to know the game and environment and toxic cesspools that you live amongst. I don't get it. Like, damn. Like, this isn't even like a good gossip story from what you're getting so far. It'd be one thing if there were sultry details and you're talking about alleged trysts under the ring or whatever. You know, or Tony Khan was sitting there and doing some shit and snorting lines of coke and yeah! And Sammy Guevara was doing fucking swantons into Ty Conte's sweet Brazilian muff patch. Like, then I could get it. There's sultry details. Yes, it's weird, but we are weird people, and at least you can understand that. This has none of that shit right now. There's a bunch of people that should have much better things to do with their time. Focusing on shit that doesn't affect their lives, it doesn't matter, and shouldn't bother them in any way, shape, or form. 
That's pro wrestling for you. That's pro wrestling fans. Everybody's just fucking weird. And wrestling needs to get better to prevent this type of shit. Because all that's happening now is everybody involved with wrestling, because of the lack of great storytelling, the lack of great characters, the lack of emotional engagement and investment, they're going to gravitate towards the dramatic things because they're trying to compensate for the shit that they don't get in wrestling now.